Yo, what is up, guys? You're listening to The Waver's Podcast, a podcast that answers the unanswered. Welcome back, guys. In today's episode, we have no other than the man who has taken TikTok and Instagram by storm, Sean Ho. Wow, too kind, too kind. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome. Welcome to The Waver's Podcast. Thank you podcast. so much. Thank you so much. So... I heard you had a job interview just now. How how did it go? Yeah, yeah, the job interview. Oh, I didn't know this was going to be uh discussed in the podcast, but uh yeah, it was. Uh, I'm actually looking for a job right now. Uh mm. yeah, because uh freelancing is not really gonna make it lah. <laughs> I mean, for now, it's not paying the bills lah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I mean, the interview was uh, fine. They wanted me. They wanted me to start as soon as possible. It's actually a content creator job. Wow. Okay, um, cool. To manage the brands, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Xiaohongshu, Douyin, everything. Okay. Uh, to post every day and to it's actually a baby product, so ah. to promote that product lah. Okay. Until it's it's popular, I guess. <laughs> right. So when I came across your Instagram page, almost uh, most uh, mostly Instagram, TikTok, I was like, wow, this guy, this guy is take, taking the whole uh, Malaysian prank scene into another level it's like you, you're getting like 70k views 60k views some of the reels i was like okay you know what i got to get this guy before he turns big and like he has the impression of oh small podcast okay i'm not coming in <laughs> <coughs> no, no no i always like to support uh small uh smes small brands and even small uh, entrepreneurs like one like you so so uh yeah i will never i'll i'll try not to turn down uh, any opportunity again Right. So, okay, without further ado, let's get straight to the questions. Oh so, okay, your videos are quite, um, you need a lot of guts to do it, you know, you need you go up to people uh, and you really, probably you, you, you go up to people, ask them questions and just do pranks uh, in general. So where do you get that confidence from? Ah, where did I get that confidence from? Honestly speaking, uh, <clears throat> I'm not too sure. Last last year, I took the MBTI test, uh, and actually it was uh, it was they said I was like sixty percent introverted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then uh, I don't know what happened uh, You know, just suddenly no lah. Like, actually, all my life I like to um make people laugh. Just the joy of seeing people laugh, uh, smile right whenever I say something or something funny or you know, I just like to entertain people. You know, in mm-hmm. general, so. When when just the the look of people when they laugh at my joke, it just makes me feel a sense of uh, comfort la, You know, like I, I feel happy as well la. I feel mm. happy when people are happy. If that makes sense to you. Okay. So all my life that has been the case, but um, generally I'm more like 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 the MBTI that like previously was sixty percent introverted, uh, okay. then forty percent extroverted. Once you get to know me, then you know my true colors. That kind of that sort of thing la, You know. <laughs> But right now, um, I feel more extroverted definitely after doing the videos. Um, if you see through my older videos, um, maybe you could sense like a uh, sort of uh, nervousness or not so not so confident in myself and stuff like that. But right now, I, I'm definitely not, not like that at all. Uh. Yeah. Right. Wow. So from an introvert to doing the videos that you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wow. What made you start content creating? What made me start? Um, okay, so uh, I never thought about this uh, until I was from four, from five, you know, with my friends. You know, you, you always have that group of friends, like crazy group of friends. I mean, for guys, uh, for girls, I'm not too sure. Uh, where you're like, oh, if we start the YouTube channel, they're going to go big, you know. I, I'm sure every single guy have that kind of thought before. <laughs> la. You know, if you have your own, if you have your friend, friend group. Yeah. So um, I never really got around doing it um, because all of us didn't have time and also we a bit shy la. Mm-hmm. But then when we about when we on our own, we definitely act very crazy and stuff like that la. So um, yeah, I after SPM I graduated from uh, I studied my degree. I graduated my degree. I came out to work and I was like, Am I gonna do this for the rest of my life? work in the office a 9 to 5 job just like everybody else mm. or am I gonna uh, venture into different. something else and then I saw this job opportunity is for a TikTok live host and a content creator actually no it was just TikTok live host so I joined as a TikTok live host to sell products you know but funnily enough my boss uh, saw some 
some uh, what what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. My brain is not working right now. Uh, saw potential in me. My boss suddenly saw potential in me. He said, "Wow, you're so funny. Uh, you should do content." I said, "What content?" He said, "Any content you like. I'll give you the freedom to do it." Huh. Yeah. So um, we had a trial run for like one week, and uh, wow, the video just blew. The video just blew up. It was actually pick up lines. Oh. Yeah. So oh, the yeah, video I just blew that. up. <laughs> Uh, but that that one was my own self. So my previous company, man, uh, my boss actually archived all the videos already because oh. <laughs> I left already. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, that's not part of the story. So after I, uh, I mean, the videos blew up. I actually uh, requested my boss. Uh, do you think I? Do you see a future in this? My boss said, "Yeah, definitely." Wait, let me mute my phone. No. Yeah. So yeah, he, my boss said, "Yeah, I definitely see a future in you doing content." Uh, do you want to do this full time? Uh, because initially I was still in probationary period. I said yeah, sure. And he gave me uh, like almost like two people salary combined into one. Wow. And yeah, I was doing content lah, content, and then uh in the morning, and then at night I was doing live selling. So like selling like random oh, stuff. Oh okay okay. Yeah, yeah yeah. So you have always been in the content scene since you graduated. Yeah yeah yeah. Since I was, since I graduated, which was like last year, ni, yeah. Oh. Yeah okay. yeah yeah. Right. So you have always been in content creating ever since you graduated. Yeah. So really, what was the motivation to start from the beginning when you actually like uh hey I want to work in a firm where I can actually make content. So what's the, the you know motive? Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly speaking, like I said, when I first joined, I didn't intend on doing content. Mm. I was just doing. I just thought I wanted to try out sales and selling stuff online okay. because it's like the trend right now. If you see TikTok and uh, Shopee, Lazada, you know, you scroll through all those platforms, you can see people doing live and selling, and that's the trend right now. So I thought you, I just try it, but um, yeah. Uh, after I saw. The impact that I could provide and the value I could provide in the videos, right, during the probationary period, yeah, I discovered that I actually like content much more, way, way more than doing sales or or doing uh any other type of work. So yeah, I I decided to quit and I decided to do it on my own lah for the time being. Yeah. Okay. Also for the past, I would say three months, I was actually um uh, trying to post constantly on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you mentioned earlier about um you having a group of friends thinking about making a YouTube channel or whatnot on social media just to you know hoping that it will blow up or have plans to blow up, right? Actually, uh, for your information, this channel <laughs> was exactly that. Ah, uh, yeah. Me okay. and my friend uh Jamie, which actually we drawn from the the channel, we actually plan out this channel during MCO. That's why is the the channel started in twenty twenty one. Ever since we actually posted comedy, uh, we posted a lot of controversial episodes like talking about the LGBTQ. Can you imagine? So, that episode was a hit, but it was way too controversial. So I deleted it. Well, um, other than that, that's how we started. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I didn't. I didn't know about the uh, the history of your uh, this podcast. So yeah, it's it's good. It's good that you tell me about it. So um, if you don't mind, now I'll be the interviewer. No worries, go what on. made your What made your co-founder so to say? What's his name? Jamie. Jamie. Say, yeah, yeah. What made him leave? He was actually very into Roblox developing, ah, Roblox game developing. Okay. So the podcast, the whole channel, actually took a lot of time from him away from that. So he actually want to venture more into Roblox I and see, developing. I see, okay. So he just told me that okay, uh, at first he told me is I want to take a step back just a while, but I, but later did I know he actually quit all the while. So no worries about that. But yeah, I'm I'm still here running it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, okay. So one man show that right now. Solo. Oh, so okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Cause occasionally I get my. Friends to actually help me out with it with some parts of connecting with other guesses for the podcast, so that's how it works right now. Right, so continuing with our interview with you. So, what is one undeniable challenge you have encountered filming street interviews? Is there any like awkward moments or extra 
ordinary moments. Wow, I, I there's a lot uh, but just to name a few. Um, there was one time I was uh filming at this uh, uh university or college. Okay. I won't name it. Um, <laughs> but I was eating at the, I was eating at the mama there. There was a mama inside there. So then, then it was like, I was just eating with my cameraman, just okay. me and him, and this guy just came up to me with messy hair, his clothes all very rugged, very baggy, oh and like God. very old, and he just came up to me, unshaved, haven't shaved for don't know how long, he just came up to me and then he said, are you the guy from TikTok? <laughs> and then I was like, huh? Yeah, yeah. Why, why, why? And then he said, Oh, I I really like your video. I really like your video. I said, Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> wait, wait, you watch. Uh. I'm not trying to try to make it like a bit lighthearted, like, you know? Yeah. Then he was like, uh, Oh, I saw on TikTok. I said, Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having lunch, uh, bro. Having lunch. Uh. Then he, you know, trying to hint to him that, you know, can you just get lost? Don't disturb me. <laughs> then he's like, Uh huh. Uh-huh. He, he took out his phone He was recording the entire time Mind you He was recording the entire time oh, Recording wow. like okay. Voice record And then he ended the, the voice recording And I was like Oh okay Finally it's ended Then He pulled up his camera And then he recorded me Ah So you always like to interview people huh? Now let me interview you Oh And then I'm actually weird. reenacting the entire thing I remember it Like it was just yesterday And then I said Uh Okay What do you want to know He's like What's the difference between Blackpink and BTS? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's damn random. My eyes was like, one is a girl group, one is a boy group. <laughs> Wrong answer. I'm like, okay, so what's the correct answer? Guess lah. You don't want to guess ah? Guess again lah. Then he put the phone in my face. No. Then I was like, uh, like several people were looking at him already at that point of time because he just came up to me then um, my camera was, was like kicking my leg. I was like, hey, you want you want you want like you want dip or something like that? Uh, yeah, I was yeah. like, I, I, it's like really mm, so awkward, you know. So I just wanted to see how it uh, how it will play out, you know. Then uh, I said, no, I really don't know the answer. Just can you just reveal me the answer? Oh, you don't want to guess, ah? Okay, I tell you the answer, ah. Uh, BTS write their own write their own songs, while Blackpink. Don't write their songs. <laughs> and he just laughed, you know. Wow. And then I said, I just like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, you know, right? You know, right? I said, yeah, yeah, I know. You know that way? You don't know how to answer? I said, oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot. And then I was like, um, I said, yeah, can you, can you just leave me alone? I eat my lunch. He said, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. And then I thought he was going to leave me alone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bugger, right? Turned around, sat behind me <laughs> in another table and didn't order anything, no. The mama guy came to him, ah, yeah, boss, mama order apa? Tama order, tama order. And then he just kept looking at me, you know. He's right, be- like right behind me here, looking at me. My cameraman was told, he just told me, he just told me, wow, that guy is still looking at you, bro. I'm like, let's just finish this Maggie Goreng and just dip, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's- ever since you haven't encountered him again. No, 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 no. I never went back to the university. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So does he look like a student there or? Yeah, definitely he's a student. Huh? Definitely, he's a student. definitely he's a student. Yeah. Hmm. I see. A bit odd, huh? <laughs> a bit, uh, A bit is an understatement. A bit. So you have done a lot of uh videos, right? Prank videos. Sometimes it can be a bit uh, annoying to some some people that you interview. So have you gotten any? Have you gotten jumped on? Like actually, like got uh beat up or. Like actually got physically uh abused or whatnot. Um, actually, uh, e- even though you see my videos, they are like very like extreme. Some some of them are quite extreme prank videos. Um, those those are actually all of my videos. I have to say all of my videos that I post. Actually, I have asked for the person's consent, oh, okay. whether or not is before the video is taken or after the video is taken. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some of them, uh, you can see that the reaction is quite real and very, very like shock, right? Yeah, that yeah, one, yeah. all of them is like, un, is like, uh, how do I say? It's unplanned. Or do I don't tell them beforehand. Uh, I'll be recording. It's a hidden camera, and I'll do my thing, and then I have my reaction and have their reaction. After that, I straight away go back to them, 
and I asked them, hey, actually, uh, it's just a video, it's just a funny video, hope you don't mind. Uh, and I'll see that reaction from then on. Uh, if they are like, if they are like annoyed, then I'll say, I'm so sorry, uh, if, you, if you're not comfortable, I won't post it. You know, something like that. Uh, but if they are laughing about it, then I'll say, hey, it's a, it's a good reaction, man. It's a good reaction. Is it, if you don't mind, I'll post it on my TikTok. Yeah. So okay. some of those scenes I actually included at the end of my TikTok videos. I yeah. don't know if you noticed that. But some of them, I wanted to keep it like more real to say, right? More real life. And uh, yeah, so I don't include them. And then some of them, I, those for those that I don't include, I will get those hate comments like, of people saying, can you stop annoying people? Can you stop harassing people? And stuff like that. But um, before we move on to the next topic, I have to say, uh, there were some, during my early stages of recording, those uh, pick up line videos, I actually never uh, explicitly told the girls that I will post it. But I I have pointed to them, pointed out uh, that there was a camera recording. Okay. So I didn't explicitly say, oh, I'll be posting this on my TikTok, will that be okay with you? Which I should have said. So I have to apologize to those uh, girls uh, beforehand. Actually, um, there was one, there was like a few occurrences where I did the pickup line and then uh, the girl actually responded, responded and it was a very, very funny video. Uh, it was like, I said, I said, is your name? So this, here's the how the pickup line went. I said, is your name I real? And then the girl went, no. And I said, oh, cause I really, really, really like you. <laughs> and then the girl was like, oh, I like you too. So oh, that was shit. a very, very good content, but unfortunately she wasn't comfortable with that. Uh, she actually saw the camera already. Oh. She saw the camera, but she didn't know that it would be posted. Okay. And uh, I post, I edited the video, it took like two hours to edit the video, and then I posted it. Oh. The moment I posted it on Xiaong Su, it blew up. I think it was like 5K views, like within like five minutes, 5K views, which is a lot. Uh. Yeah. And then um, <clears throat> unfortunately she saw the video on, I mean, not, not unfortunately she saw the video, unfortunately she wasn't comfortable with it. And she saw the video on Instagram. Then she personally messaged me. She told me that uh, she didn't think about it at that time uh, mm. about the consequences. So she told me, can you just take it down? And I said, yeah, sure, I'll take it down. You know, something like that. Um, that was one of the more milder cases. Um, more extreme cases is like, um, same thing. I said a pickup line. I don't actually remember the pickup line. I said a pickup line to the girl. The girl reaction was like, WTF that kind of thing you know <laughs> and then but she was smiling and then her friend came and was like who the F is that like you can see the mouth who the F is that and then I included the caption everything for that and it was super funny as well the moment and then uh, she also saw the camera she she, she saw the camera then uh, cut then I said I, I said uh, the camera's over here then she's like I know I know then she walked away and then uh, I didn't ask for her consent mm. another thing that was the early stages, as I said. <clears throat> so, I didn't ask for a consent. I posted it, edited it also, posted it. Uh, wow. I think it was like one day after I po- I posted it, then she came and commented, uh, where exactly was the consent? Ooh. She commented on my Instagram, where exactly was the consent? Uh, and then her a bunch of her friends came out and commented, uh, 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 what wow. I don't know what some vulgar stuff uh, they commented there. It was even hidden by Instagram. Uh. It wasn't even shown on Instagram. Oh, wow. It was only seen by me lah. <laughs> and then uh, I think her boyfriend or her friends. Okay. Her boyfriend was one of them, or her friends. I think uh, actually DM me like even gave gave me death threats and stuff like that. Death all threats. yeah, all just for like not asking her for consent. I mean, which is my fault. I admit to my mistake. I didn't actually explicitly ask for her consent, but. I think it's a bit extreme la, to go that far because I didn't touch her, I didn't say anything vulgar to her. All I said was a cute, funny pickup line, you know, just wanted to make people laugh. I just wanted to make her laugh, which did, and she even saw the camera. I'm not giving excuses for myself, but all I'm saying is like, you know, you, you shouldn't go to that extent, la, you know, to defend your friends. I understand her point of view, I understand her friend's point of view, like, you know, maybe they think I'm harassing her. To them, I'm harassing her. Um, yeah, so yeah, I learned from that. So from now on, all my participants in the video are all I asked their for their consent already. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well the thing the thing about it, the what you have actually gone through. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's not it easy. Is... Yeah. And imagine wow. like editing the video taking two hours to edit one yeah. like a forty five second video and then posting it it actually going viral and then you have to take it down like yeah, it's actually quite painful, uh, you know. 
But I learned from that I learned from that experience Because last time I was like Ah yeah all this You know uh, I'm not even causing harm to them uh, mm. So why should I Why should I bother you know So but now I go the extra mile After the video I'll ask them Is it okay I post it If they're not okay I'll just take it out Even right now if any participants Even though previously they asked me They told me it's okay to post it uh, but right now suddenly they change their mind. They if they DM me, I'll definitely remove it. No worries about that. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> wow. Okay. <laughs> a lot to take in. Uh. <laughs> a lot, a lot to take in. Wow. So these are the few challenges you have faced. But personally, right? Do you think? Okay. What do? Okay. Being born in a Malaysian Chinese household, right? What does your family members think? about what you're doing yeah yeah um they hate me for it i don't have my house already uh, no actually i'm yeah, just kidding <laughs> no actually uh, surprisingly my parents are quite supportive my mom and dad they are quite supportive and my i have a sister so she's quite supportive okay uh as for my other family members it's like hit or miss uh. some of them are like oh you, you should do this video you should do this video you know my cousins and all uh and then my other families are like ah oh, can you just can you just do a normal job? How are you even getting money from this? I'm like, I'm not getting money from this. Then what's the point and stuff like that? But they don't really see the long term goal, uh, It's actually social media is a long term game. Uh, it's not for everyone. Definitely, it's not for everyone. Uh, because you need to, people still need to survive, like, You know, day to day. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. That, that that's that's how it is, uh. So, so back to the question, fifty fifty, I guess. 50, yeah, 50. fifty fifty. Some of them are supportive. Some of them are like, eh. Not so much. So speaking of which, you you mentioned about money, right? You 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 mentioned about stability. So I would like to discuss with you, right? How far do you think you can take this food, this new, uh, uh sorry, this full time, uh, job of yours, content creation? In your perspective, how far do you think, uh, you can bring it to? The possibilities are endless, lah. It's not like a nine to five job where your income is uh fixed. is fixed, yeah, it's standardized. And no matter how much effort you put in, your income will always be the same. I mean, if you have like absolutely outstanding record breaking performance in your company, probably they give you a one time bonus. Or if you're lucky they'll give you like a raise without you asking for it. But yeah, it's gonna be fixed for the rest of your life or for that time or for that time period. Lah. So as for social media, right? Um, I'm not sure everybody know, if everybody knows this or not. But for TikTok, they don't pay. They don't pay users. You no matter how much views they get. If if uh, if I'm a Malaysian, uh, I get ten million views. Uh, ten million views and ten thousand likes on my videos, right? It doesn't bring me any revenue. Mm. As long as I'm not a US or a European citizen, if I'm not mistaken, US European or Australian or something like that. It's like three regions, lah. As long as you're not living in those three locations, you're not gonna your videos and you cannot monetize your videos at all. It's not the same for YouTube where you can um, monetize it through AdSense, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you that's obviously all the platforms have like a minimum requirement, like one thousand followers, one thousand uh subscribers, and then you will start you start being able to monetize it. Yeah. But for TikTok, it's not the case, lah. TikTok. Mm. Yeah. So the way on how. Malaysians, uh, Malaysian content creators make it is one, either have sponsorships, uh, two is by advertising. So like people want you to promote their product on your channel, then uh, I I get some revenue off of it. So like uh, just a shameless plug like this T-shirt I'm wearing right now, <laughs> is from uh No Simping Sim Club. Uh, they're actually a Singaporean company. They actually sponsored me this shirt and uh, wanted me to promote this uh, so if you guys wanted, want to buy any cool caps or shirts or anything like that marks even uh, head over to my link in the bio <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, yeah yeah do your thing man do shameless plug shameless plug <laughs> yeah yeah do yeah. your thing <laughs> wow so I see that's how, how it is uh. yeah. okay so could you disclose any of your goals and plans for the upcoming years as a content creator? Oh, upcoming goals and plans. Actually, I go to a, I go from a day to day basis. Uh. if possible, I want to do this like for the rest of my life because I really love it. Like just going out, making people laugh, then coming home, posting, editing it. I mean, initially I didn't like editing, mm. but 
now I start to f- get the feel of it, and even editing the videos, I I even laugh at myself. You know, it's like so it's like so funny. You know, like like I just laugh at myself. I just zoom into the person's reaction. I'm like, oh, I didn't even see this in real time. You know, then I look back. I'm like, oh, this this is really funny. So um, I'm sorry. What was your question again? <laughs> What's your goals? Ah, uh, what was my goals? Yeah, yeah. What's my plans? Ah, uh, basically. Uh, I guess all I can share with you right now is um. Uh, I I really don't know, man. I I would say maybe I give myself like another one month, I guess, another one month to try this thing. If if I if I actually see a future in this, uh, I might continue. But if not, I might actually take a step back and I'll maybe just do a regular full time job and maybe do this on the side. Mm. Yeah, cause I'm trying I'm trying to explore different types of content because um the street interview kind of content that I've been doing in the past right is actually quite um quite taxing quite quite it takes a lot of resources uh, basically uh it takes a lot of time to record it takes an entire day to record secondly I need uh to pay a cameraman to help me record which is also I need to financially come up with the money Thirdly, it's like it takes a lot of time to edit. So mostly it's time and <clears throat> time and money constraints for those kind of videos. But if it's quality videos and it goes viral, it's never mind. No. But sometimes if I edit it, if it takes that long to edit, right, and uh, the video only gets like one thousand views, right? I'm like, uh, <laughs> you get what I'm saying, right? Like yeah, yeah. hours and hours, right? So yeah. I'm actually if you see my pre- my I don't know what when will this podcast release, but if you see my channel or my TikTok page, I'm actually trying to post more uh, other types of content uh, like more relatable or trendy or short form kind of content, not so much the long form kind of one minute long street interview kind of content. I'm just trying to test out the water and try to see mm. because that seems to be more sustainable to me. Uh. Okay. Because um, if you don't mind, I stray out a bit. My, yeah. I will just let you know no my problem. inspirations, right? Actually, yeah. uh, I get inspired a lot from a lot of other local creators and also Singaporean creators as well. So I would like to give a shout out to Imran from uh, Singapore. I don't know if you've seen his videos. I, I'm not sure who he is. Uh, actually, he, he, if you see his videos, right, you would think that uh, uh, he copied me. But actually, I copied him. <laughs> a lot of the videos, right, the mumbling prank and stuff like that, right, actually, right, uh, I, I'll be really honest, right, it's not my idea. I actually copied it from, from him. Okay. And I'm pretty sure he also copied it from some US uh, creators as well. Uh. But, I mean, that's how it is. There's no... There's no, uh, there's nothing unique. It's just the only thing unique about it is your own self. So how you portray your character and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I also like to give a shout out to like, uh, Gajen Gajendran, Gajusi on 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 uh, Instagram on social media. Yeah, he's also very funny. He's like he's like a Chindian content okay. creator. Jason, you know the food reviewer, Jason. Yeah, he's a food reviewer, Jason. Uh, there's a lot uh, There's a lot out there that I really ins- uh. I look at, I really get inspired by them. Huh? Right. So Okay. So what are your advice for other individuals that want to pursue the same uh about the same venture as you content creation? Yeah, what's your advice? Well, asking me for advice when I I myself need advice. <laughs> <laughs> my my Instagram only has my Instagram only has 800, 800 uh, followers. Uh. I don't know if I can, I can offer any advice, but um, my advice is to stay consistent. Uh. Stay consistent. If possible, try to post twice a day. Yeah, a lot of people, um, they post like whenever they feel like it. So you don't, you don't have the discipline for that. If you are like in aspiring, like which is like starting up, starting to want to start content, right? Definitely prioritize on quantity rather than quality so that, that's really two advice so quality quantity over quality secondly is uh consistency so why why i mean why why i say quantity over quality where, where usually people will say quality over quantity because yeah. when you're starting right you, you are still learning you're still learning the ins and outs of everything of social media so you don't know how to edit mm. you don't know the right hashtags you don't know the right captions you don't know the best posting times of the day. You know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. So all these kind of things, you, you will learn. Tr- you will learn it through uh, quantity. Okay. So trying to post like more often, and that's how it works out, lah. So these two: consistency and quantity. Yeah. 
So I noticed ever since you started, you have been really consistent. Every single day, I, I actually analyzed your channel. I was like, wow, this guy, every single day, new video. I was like, how do you do that? It's like, how do you have that um, discipline. drive and yeah, discipline, yeah. you know? Um, I guess it's more to the motivation uh, of why I started and uh, my end goal. So, you know, you wake up in the morning, you've gone this far, what, why, why, why stop now? You know what I mean? Yeah. Why stop now? So, instead of, instead of, uh, always like dreaming of one day one day I will this like I think it's a David Goggins uh, uh, <laughs> motivation I think he said it was like why why always one day one day I will become a millionaire one day I will be successful one day I will have my own company one day I will be successful as content creator instead of one day say say day one day one yeah day one so this is day one this is day one of me becoming a content creator this is day two this is day three once you get the habit of it right you can't stop already if you stop mm. you're gonna break the streak so mm. yeah so that's my motivation uh. wow that's a lot today so i guess that's the end of the episode unless you want to add anything um nothing else to add i guess you follow waver's podcast <laughs> <laughs> derek is a very nice guy here and she reached out to me on uh, instagram yeah. and uh, i immediately replied because i so he did it like very professionally. I thought he had an entire team. I actually thought you had an entire team with you, everything. But uh, yeah, you're really professional. You actually sent me an email uh, immediately. You gave me a, a general idea of how the interview will go, the location, the time, everything. And wow, I'm actually really impressed with what you do. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow him and follow me. So <laughs> Sean.HazenN on all social media, Instagram, Douyin, uh, TikTok. Uh, what's that? Xiaomsu and Lemonade also. Yeah. Lemonade? Wow, okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really YouTube well. Wow. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Sean. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. For the um, viewers that is celebrating Hari Raya, Salamat Hari Raya to all of you from the both of us. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.